as you will know, in late September 2023, Apple released uh, Sonoma, the new operating system for Macintosh, or Mac, whatever you want to call it. But, as you'll also know, uh, it cut out most stuff from before 2017. But, fortunately, there is a way around this that will allow you to update most Macs going back to 2007 to the latest system. So let's cut to the main part and let's show you how to do this. But before you do, the only thing you'll extra you will need to do this is an external drive or USB flash drive with at least 16 gigabytes of memory. You do not need to format this at the moment, but you can plug it in to the back of your Mac. So with that done, let's upgrade this 2010 i5 iMac which has 8 gigabytes of memory and a 256 gigabyte SSD. If you are doing this to an older iMac you may want to think about possibly upgrading the memory processor and uh, change the hard drive to an SSD if you can just to make things smoother but it will run on these older iMacs. For a complete list of the systems it will run on I put a link in the description below. Right, as you can see, the uh, iMac we're about to upgrade is currently running on High Sierra. So, first thing we need to do is click on the Apple icon, and then about this Mac. This window will open with information about your iMac, and if you click on this system report, this window will open. And on the uh, here, you'll see model identifier. This is an iMac 11,3. So once you've established the model number, you'll need to go to this website to which I've provided a link below. And what this has at the top is a list of different Mac models. So you can choose your type, which in this case is iMac. You can then look down the list to see if yours is supported. This is 11,3, so it's supported. There's also a list on the right-hand side of issues that may occur with this upgrade. So check through them before you continue with the upgrade. Next, you'll need to go to this website, to which I've provided a link down below, which is uh, GitHub, where it's kept. It's also got a list of supported models here. If you scroll down, you will see downloads. Now, as it says here, Open Core Patcher is a visual GUI based app recommended for all users. This one is downloaded as needed by the system. So, what we need to do is download this Open Core Patcher GUI app.zip. And there she goes. And we'll be back once that's done. Okay, at this point, I uh, may as well suggest that if you're using any Bluetooth uh, keyboards or mice, swap them out for wired ones because this may affect Bluetooth, which may stop you typing. But once that's downloaded, hit the download thing and double click on the zip file to extract it. And there's the open core patch. So double click on that. You'll see it verifying it, and eventually it should open. Right, so this one's complaining that it's an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Open it. And there we are, we're now into the software. Okay, with your USB drive or flash drive plugged into the back, what we want to do is go into Create Mac OS Installer. Then we want to download Mac OS X Installer. And it will go out and try and find it. So there we have the latest versions. Uh, Sonoma, bottom there. So if that's not selected, select it. And click Download. And there we go. 12 gigabyte download, so we'll leave it doing that.
Right, once it's done that, it's going to go through a validation thing, so uh, just allow it to do that. Once it's validated, it'll ask you to put your password in, which I've just done, and it's now extracting the installer, which will take a few minutes, so I'll be back. Okay, once that's finished, confusingly, it asks you twice. So I'm going to go with this top one here, click yes, and there we go, it's actually answered that one as well. So select local, local mac os installer install mac os simona 14. so if we select install mac os simona it'll then ask you which disk to install to so you've got disk one sd mmc which is the uh, usb flash drive in my thingy in my occasion it could be your usb ssd so search uh, click that confirmation yes and what i'll do that will format and install that onto your external usb drive or flash drive and we'll get back right back when that's finished okay the did scare me a bit then i was sitting around saying no bytes written for quite a while just been preparing it all uh, but i could see that the cpu is using quite a bit so uh it then asked me for my password again and now it's writing the information to the usb drive right i have no idea why but that took hours literally hours probably two or three hours so i'm expecting this to take a while too so we've gone to the end of that stage it's now asking me if success so i'd say successfully created the mac os installer uh would you like to continue install open call to this disk yes and off it goes finish building your open core configuration would you like to install open core now install to disk it will now ask you which disk you want to install it to and just go for the same one again there we go and it will ask you the volumes on disk one just go for the same one again I'll ask you your password. Type that in. And there we go. Reboot to apply. Right, so continue from this point. It says reboot to apply. Open course, finish installing to disk. You will need to reboot and hold the option key. Click that one. And select open core boot EFI option. Would you like to reboot? Yes, I would. We start so as it reboots we hold the option key so it's rebooting we're holding down the uh, option button and it should eventually go into the menu we're after there we go we now select the EFI boot option there Let's double click it and then install macOS Sonoma. And off she goes doing her stuff. Okay, minutes later, and we now have this the screen. So we want the second option. Install macOS Sonoma. Continue. And off it goes doing its stuff, hopefully. Yep, my USB card is flashing away. So, macOS Sonoma, set up the installation of macOS Sonoma, please continue. Okay, next it will come up with the usual sort of stuff. So, uh, we'll go to Terminal Negations, agree, and now I'm going to put it onto my normal hard drive, continue. And one hour, 12 minutes remaining. So, I'll definitely be back. Uh, so, we're just going to go through uh the usual stuff and uh we'll see what happens and i'll be back in a moment when this is done okay a few minutes later and we are here we have Ta-da! uh what's it called sonoma 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 whatever it's called put it there you know what it is but uh you are booting open call from usb if you would like to boot your mac normally without usb directly Install open core to the internal hard drive. Would you like to load the uh, batcher? Install to disk. Yes. 
So, yes, here we are. We are at... Finish building your open core figures and stores the disc. There we go. We'll continue. Uh, that's the one. So install it onto your main drive in the computer. And we need to put our password in again. And it's installing open core, which will allow this to boot without using the USB. Hopefully that only takes a few seconds. But I'll be back. Oh, there we go. Of course, finish this. You will need to reboot and hold the option key and select open core EFI's option. Would you like to reboot? Yes. I'll take the, hang on. Uh, select open core boot EFI. So that's what we do next. So we will hold down option key, reboot, restart. Here we go. If I boot from hard drive, which is that one. Entitled. Now it should boot from the hard drive. Right, and a few moments later, we are booted back into here. And I've taken the SD card out the back just to prove. And let's have a quick look. At Safari and just to uh, let's try YouTube see if everything works as it should it may take a few seconds longer than usual due to this being the first time We'll just try one of my videos just to make sure everything's going as it should. Get rid of the advert. There we go, it's running. There we go. Even at a higher frame rate, there's that handsome chap. So, there we go. That is actually running. Perfectly fine anyway, with the uh, Simona. So all we do, what to do is just do a reboot, just to show that it boots straight into it. Yeah, it did take longer to uh, shut down than I thought it was going to, but it's got there. So we'll have the uh, little bit of waiting here. There we go, and boink. Okay, it's going to start asking for that for some reason, but no, that's no biggie. And there we go, on the desktop. So it doesn't take that much longer than it did with High Sierra, and it's working nicely. Just need to get that software back to slow the fans down again. But there we go. So there it is, Mac OS Sonoma installed on what is at present a 13 and a half year old machine. I think it's about... 10 years out of date for the operating system officially, but it's running fine as you can see. So if this video has been of use to you, then please like it. If you've got any questions, please leave below. If I can't answer, maybe somebody in the community will pick it up. Uh, if you enjoy these sort of videos, uh, then subscribe. And you can join us on our Facebook group and Twitter. Links to that, along with all the links required for different processes in this, down below in the description. Just remains for me to say, Thank you very much for watching.